Okay, okay I'm going to have to interrupt this call. I understand we, we're going to go to a live picture in Los Angeles. Police believe that that O.J. Simpson is in that car. Okay, police believe he is in that vehicle. Let's pick up what the, uh, the KCAL broadcaster is saying. At this point, that uh, the, the officers would do just about whatever they do in any type of a, of a pursuit. Now they're telling me that they, be to, they believe that this vehicle, vehicle is registered to Al Cowlings, uh, one of uh, O.J.'s oldest friends, a teammate at Southern Cal. Obviously, the car is not exceeding the speed limit. The California Highway Patrol has another helicopter, could be a police helicopter, is trailing it. They're going south through Orange County, but nobody is pulling this car over. And we could only guess as to why not. Right, I guess they're just being They careful. may fear that uh, there are arms in that car. They may fear that uh, Simpson may harm himself. Right. They may fear that they're not in the car and it's just the registered car and someone else is driving. Right. Yeah, I think they're being, uh, they're correct in proceeding with a great deal of caution here. Now they are northbound on I-5. Uh, that's a correction. We had said southbound on I-5. Now they're northbound on I-5. That would make them heading toward come, L.A. Come, coming back toward Los Angeles, yes. Now police radio is saying that Simpson has a gun at his head. Police radio is saying that Simpson, oh, no. the passenger in the car, has a gun at his head. Mm. Oh, no. Which is explained why they haven't been stopping and why they haven't moved up alongside. Oh, no. Mm. The voice saying, oh no, is John Mack, president of the LA Urban League. If you've just joined us, this is Larry King live in Washington, reviewing a car apparently being driven by Al Cowling, one of OJ's oldest friends and a former teammate at Southern Cal. And the police well, radio uh, David, is reporting that OJ is the passenger in the car. The car is really somewhere by Disneyland. Let's listen to KCA. One thing we have been noticing again, it's a very slow pursuit, travel, uh, followed by numerous. Uh, highway patrol vehicles, but because of the intensity, it seems like people have heard about what's going on, and all the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars and pedestrians overhanging, watching, and seeing exactly what has been going on down below as uh, the, uh, the presumed uh, vehicle of O.J. Simpson is still traveling very slowly northbound along the 5 freeway, uh, coming up again towards the 91 intersection. At that point, we'll just have to wait and see which way he's going to go, but... Uh, at this point, it's uh, still a fairly laid-back situation, a uh, dangerous situation at the same time, because, again, the, uh, the Highway Patrol does not want to intimidate, and I repeat, do not want to intimidate this vehicle into doing anything that uh, they really don't want them to do. And th the main thing is to get him pulled over as safely as possible, and there's only a couple ways that'll happen. One is him just pulling over and or running out of gas. So at this point, we can only pray that uh, they'll be able to pull this off in a safe measure. He was the love of her life. It was love at first sight. Very dynamic couple. We begin tonight with a murder investigation. Both victims savagely attacked. Stabbed nearly 20 times. Nicole's been murdered. Please surrender immediately. Stop this cover-up! Did he have the means? Did he have the murder weapon? Did O.J. Simpson really kill Nicole Brown? 